UFC 196 has just wrapped up. They're taking the octagon down. I'm joined by Dana White. Dana, this was quite the night. How are you feeling right now? You know, man, it's so it's so crazy. This sport is it's so crazy. It's like there, there were all these celebrities here tonight, and, and and you know you have something exciting when people who've done it all, seen it all, been everywhere, and done everything are standing around going, "Holy shit, what just happened?" <laughs> so it was uh, it was a crazy night. Let's talk about the co-main event. Misha Tate is the new women's bantamweight world champion. Misha's been around the sport for a long, long time. She's always been very close to the belts here in the UFC, but never was able to obtain it. Um, we talked about that performance a little bit off camera. It was interesting how the judges scored it in terms of that second round. But overall, what was your assessment before Misha was able to finish Holly? Yeah, um, I, you know, they, they, I heard they scored that a 10-8, which I wouldn't score that a 10-8. Um, I mean, it just, you get a 10-8, you have to just absolutely destroy somebody that round. It has to be completely one-sided. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it, Holly, ho Holly wanted to keep her distance. She didn't want to go to the ground um, with Misha. I, I said leading into this fight, it's such a dangerous fight for Holly Holm. Um, you know, Misha, Misha gets that top position. Holly's going to have a long night, and, and, and that's what happened. You know, Misha, Misha wanted that title so bad, and she worked and worked and worked and kept trying to get her to the ground. And once she got her, she sunk that choke. You know, uh, Holly tried to flip her. Misha wasn't letting go for anything. No, absolutely not. And that choke not. was deep, and, and, you know, Holly didn't tap, man. Holly went to sleep. We know that Misha obviously wanted that fight with Holly being the champion, but did Holly really make sure that she was the one fighting Misha Tate, that she was saying, I want Misha next? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know how much it was Holly and how much it was her, her, her manager, uh, you know. It just, uh, you know, the Ronda Rousey fight was such a massive fight for her, and she could have waited for Ronda, you know, props. I, I don't know if that was really what she wanted to do, um, you know not surrounded by business geniuses, but listen, respect to her for, for fighting. Yeah, obviously you don't like to make fights, so I'm not gonna ask you about that, but do you feel like Ronda's at home just now? Like, okay, let's do this. Ronda, I text Ronda, Ronda didn't know what happened. Ronda didn't know, Ronda didn't watch it. She wasn't watching, I would have she thought did. for sure she was in front of her she TV. She did not watch it, I text her, and she said, what happened? And I said, Misha just choked her unconscious. She goes, looks like, uh, I, I, looks, she goes, back to work for me or something like that. Interesting. So, okay, I'm not going to make you play matchmaker. We'll see how that plays out. Let's talk about the main event. Um, Nate Diaz able to finish Conor McGregor in the second round. Um, in the first round, what did you think about that? Were you surprised the way Conor had come out? How did he come out? Seemed like he was throwing some really big looping shots. Um, we see him using his precision a lot. He always right. talks about his precision. It seemed like he wasn't necessarily following that game plan in this know, fight. Man, he came out gunslinging, and he did some, you know, obviously – First of all, Connor makes this thing so funny, makes fighting so fun. Mm -hmm. To come out and fight a guy two weight classes ahead of you, you know, that's never been knocked unconscious or knocked out, um, and then come out and fight him the way that he fought him, it's, it's just it's fun, man. And, and Nate Diaz is a fun kid who, who stepped up, took the fight, and uh, tonight was, was incredible. Yeah, and I was very impressed with the grappling exchanges in that first round. Connor held his own there, and Nate Diaz is a Caesar Gracie black belt. Yeah, um, yeah, it was awesome, man. That fight was so awesome. It was so fun to watch. Um, Connor did jump right in his guard and was was grappling with him. Um, but let me tell you what: when you fight a bigger guy who, who carries that weight, plus Connor's carrying more weight than he ever carried, mm -hmm. and you're dropping bombs and trying to knock him out, you know, it's it, it's 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 uh, it's tiring. Yeah, and Nate said. His key to success tonight was peppering him with these shots and injuring him there to make him want to take it to the canvas, a place where traditionally Connor wouldn't really want to take it against Nate. Yeah, it, it actually worked out. You know, um, th there were some really, uh, you know, Connor looked, the stuff that he was throwing, the way that he was throwing, he looked incredible. He even hurt Nate to the body. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was a fight, man. Listen, this thing was what it was. These are two guys that wanted to fight. And everybody saw a fight tonight. For sure. Is this a weird place now to kind of go forward? We've got the featherweight champion who lost to a 55er at 170. You've got a 55er who lost to the champion, Dos Anjos, uh, but now proved something at a higher weight class. I mean, there's a lot of moving parts, a lot of possibilities. Um, how do you go forward from this in terms of mapping things out? It's interesting. Um, I don't know. You know, i got to get back in the office and uh, on Monday and, and 
you know, we'll figure out what's next. Do you expect Con your well, phone Connor, to blow Connor, up? Well, Connor still has a title to defend, so, um, you know. Interesting. So I think that on Monday you're going to get a lot of phone calls and a lot of text messages from fighters. <laughs> uh, yeah, I bet. I bet. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much for your time, Dana. I know you've got a lot of media to do. We appreciate it. You're oh, the Fox yeah. desk is waiting for you. Oh, is that Frankie Edgar up there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there he is. Frankie Edgar's up there. All right, we'll let you go and go deal with the answer. Thanks. Thank you.